Okay, thanks for joining us. This is going to be a very, very fast um, introduction into Red Faction Guerrilla PC modding. Not recommended for complete newbies. Right, the first thing to do uh, with this one is we're going to be doing a lot of editing inside program files. So you may, if you decide to, it sometimes brings up, uh, grays out the screen that says a program needs your permission to continue, asks you to click to confirm what you've already done. If you want to turn that off, go into your control panel, users or user accounts, and change your user account control settings, and just lower that bar. I keep mine off. I'd investigate what that does first before just blindly turning it off. Um, but yeah, it is something that seems to get in the way, at least for me. But I am speaking in ignorance there, so do your own research. Okay, right, so we have Red Faction Guerrilla installed, there it is, and nothing else at the moment. Now, if you go on the internet and go on to www.factionfiles.com, uh, there's this little website here, or it looks like this now, maybe not in the future, and if you click on Files, oh, it's got a tool that I made there, and then go to Red Faction Guerrilla, and then go to Tools, uh, there is jibbed volition pack on pack you need to download that I don't need to download it as I've already got it it's um well where's my download window there it is you've already got it what you need to do for this one is once you've downloaded that it's a raw file so you need to open it and as you can possibly see here it's got two directories pack and unpack for each of the tools so they'll be in different directories you need to extract all files and find out where your red faction is installed and it goes in red faction gorilla backslash build backslash pc backslash cache uh, you can just find it in the directory tree as well red faction gorilla build pc cache uh, if you're not using the pc version of red faction i don't know why you're attempting to mod it i don't know if it's possible okay so just extract those folders to there and here you are in your red faction gorilla cache folder you'll notice these two directories pop up. Now I always rename these to have an underscore in front of them because with an underscore it means that they'll always be at the top of the list. So you've got pack and unpack there. Right, first off, this is the cache directory we'll be working with. These VPP PC files are the ones that we need. Um, the one that we need at the moment is misc VPP PC. So let's get that and paste it into unpack okay so that's now in the unpack directory right if you go onto um, community dot red faction i think it is let's just have a look uh, yeah community dot red faction dot com and go into the forums red faction gorilla and i was just in it there actually and the rfg pc modding section there's some handy tools and guides there that will help you get this all set up. Um, the one we're going to be doing is Alexi Bob's tutorial, which is basically just typing all this in a DOS box. Now his tutorial, as far as it goes, only outlines typing all this in. Every single time you'd have to type out this line of text, and it'd take a couple of minutes. You don't need to do that at all. Well, you do need to do it. You, didn't, you need to do it just the once to set it up right. So if you go back to our unpack directory, uh, which is the new one we've made, and make a new file, which is a text document, and rename it unpack underscore misc dot bat, not bart, bat. Yes. And if it doesn't have sort of like the extensions on, if it's just the file names, you should just press Alt T and then go to folder options and then go to view and then go down to here and then hide extensions for known file types. Uh, turn that off and then you'll be able to see and edit the thing so you can make that a different file and then right click on it and edit it. Right, okay, and this is what you need to type in, but bear in mind that if your red faction is installed into another directory somewhere, as opposed to that one, you'll um, need to take account for it when doing this part here. Okay, so what you need to type in is jibbed.volition.unpack.exe, which is just basically the tool, and then misc.vpppc. 
Okay, so that's it. That's uh, telling the tool to activate, and then what file is it going to be working on? MISC VPP PC, which is the best one, especially to get started with. Okay, and where's it going to extract it to is the next bit. Right, I'm going to say, put it in cache, but uh, it's going to be in cache and a subfolder called MISC, because otherwise it will pile all the files into there, and there are over 1,000, so it's not very good to do that and also that makes it extremely difficult to recompile so just do as I do and put that on for now and make sure that this directory path is in speech marks that is imperative or it will fail and then so will you okay so that's done right so we've got our unpacked tool set up and it's working I didn't think it would but oh yes because we've moved the misc vpp pc file in I'm not sure if I went through that step with you but if you look in here you've got your vpp pc files and you need to copy misc vpp pc into the unpack and then do that and it'll work I was expecting it to go wrong serves me right okay so now you've got this new folder called misc which is the file that you'll be working with if you look inside of that you've got all sorts of files sort it by file type and then oh I've got XTBLs coming up here which is good we're not got uh, XTBLs are the ones we're going to edit but we're not going to do that now we'll do that in a short while we're just going to finish setting up our tools okay so now we need to do pack this is the one which is going to once we've made our changes to those uncompressed files it's going to pack it all back up into a new MISC VPP PC file which we can then put in our cache folder and then just run the game so let's do that tool now go to new make a text document and then rename it as pack underscore misc dot bat and get rid of dot txt yep that's fine and then right click edit it and type this in git dot volition dot pack exe and then put minus c because it's compiling and then what's it going to compile what's the file name going to be misc.vpp pc okay and what is it compiling from what is it going to be making misc.vpp pc out of well it'll be the um, same thing again it'll be c program files blah blah red faction gorilla build pc cache misc so you've got that in there so that'll work but you can leave it there but to save even more time I also put another line in because what this will do is just leave the misc file in the pack directory but it needs to go into the cache one so if you like if you want to save yourself even more time just write this move forward slash y space misc dot vpp pc space and then just put the directory well the path into your um, cache folder again in speech marks and that's fine you've got your compile tool set up right there as well okay okay and just before we start doing any modding or anything like that one other final thing that we need to do I would say is at the moment there's quite a lot of folder navigation you need to go into your cache folder every time open that up and then go into it to start editing or you can create a shortcut to it and in Windows 7 you can create a folder and pin it to the um, taskbar so I'm going to do that move that into my specially created folder and there we are you see now I can just click on there and it will open up my cache directory that is a life saving sort of um, shortcut there and also because we're going to be packing up rather a lot you might want to do the same with the um, pack misc.bat file oops I've actually moved it that's not good yeah it's not going to work from there okay right let's undo that and then create a shortcut and then move this shortcut there there we are that's done that and that's proper right okay that will just speed things up for you I strongly advise you to do that but you don't need to now we're going to get onto the editing. As I said before, it's XTBL files and I'm not going to go into the descriptions of it much because we're um, just going through this as fast as poss possible to set it up for you. So what you need to do now is find a file called explosions 
XTBL and open it. I've already associated these with Notepad and you can open it with Notepad but I prefer Notepad++. plus plus plus. Let's have a look. Oh, it's opened the other one. The other ones. Right, okay. Can we... Oh no, we... It's uh, already sorted this out. Normally in Notepad all of this would be black text and it would be quite hard to read. But Notepad++ plus plus plus, you can go to Language, XML and it formats it out like this so it's all nice and pretty much easy to read. Okay, firstly we're just going to make a small change. So if you look for... right, oh no, firstly look at this. This is the explosions file, so it's got lots of information about explosions, and you can see there's sections here with explosions in. They all have a name, or a name tag. It's sort of like name, mp kaboom, close name. So this bit here is what is actually defined, and that's just what kind of tag it is. So the best way to search is by name, so we'll do just that, we'll search by name, and we're looking for charge. It's actually called charge place. Uh, no, it's not. It's called remote charge. I'm thinking of weapons. Uh, just look for charge remote. Remote charge. Here we are. Okay. Quickly, we're just going to modify radius to 12. We're going to change the impulse to 80,000. Yes. And we'll change the structural damage if I can find that one. Here it is. To 30,000. Okay, so save that, and you, well, you can leave that open. And now I can just click Pack Misc, which is hopefully going to work. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's working now. Okay, so once this is done, unless it gives any error message, in which case you've got a problem, see the second video for some uh, help about what to do if things go wrong. But yeah. Um, that's going to compile now. It does take a while and then you can just go ahead and run the game straight away. Oh no, you can't actually. There's one other thing and it's quite important. Well, in fact, it's imperative if you want to see any changes. If you go into your cache folder where the VPP PC files are, there's one called table. You need to rename this to anything else. I'm going to call it veg table instead. Okay, because that file just contains defaults of the XTBL files and overwrites it. It serves, as far as I'm aware, no other purpose. Okay, so you've compiled that and you've renamed that, and you can go ahead and run it now. Okay, so here we are um, in EOS, and let's throw one charge at that wall. Yeah, that's definitely working. Okay, let's try multiple charges. That's working too. That's fine. It's not really blowing the building up, just the soft bits. Yeah. Oh. Never mind, at least it's working.